New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian is encouraging the Queensland government to go further and drop its hard border entirely. Only two new cases have been recorded in New South Wales, both in hotel quarantine. Gladys Berejiklian spent the day celebrating her 50th birthday. Happy birthday, Premier. Thank you. I'm glad there's no band here, so it's safe. And there's much to toast. South Australia will welcome New South Wales travellers from Thursday. Queensland will expand its border bubble on October 1, taking in another five shires. It's the Premier's New South Wales birthday today, so she got two birthday presents. But New South Wales as a whole remains off limits to Queensland and WA, with no end date in sight. I think it's sad to think that families at Christmas will be separated uh, when borders uh, could potentially be up unnecessarily. The New South Wales Premier is once again pleading with her Queensland counterpart to bring the hard border down. She says it's time to bring back jobs and stimulate the economy. We can't be complacent and we all always know that we're only a few days off from another outbreak, but so is Queensland. We're all in the same situation. The current benchmark for Queensland to reopen to New South Wales is 28 days with no community transmission. Each time health authorities have to figure out how a person acquired the virus, the clock resets to zero. And we've even seen with a jurisdiction like New Zealand where they shut down their entire economy a couple of times, they still had cases. Uh, whilst the pandemic exists on the planet, uh, we will get cases. But it's a question about how you handle those cases. The last time New South Wales achieved 14 days of no community transmission was in mid-June. Regional Victorians could soon be able to travel to and from New South Wales as both states work out how to reopen the southern border safely. At this stage, it won't apply to Melbourne. Only two new cases have been recorded in New South Wales, both in hotel quarantine. Danica DiGiorgio, Sky News, Sydney.